Learn how to perform the reverse CAMP test to identify Clostridium perfringens. This microbiology technique is essential for differentiating C. perfringens from other Clostridium species. Watch this video to see a demonstration of the test and learn about the science behind it. The reverse CAMP test is a valuable tool for differentiating Clostridium perfringens from other Clostridium species. This test relies on the synergistic interaction between the alpha toxin produced by C. perfringens and the CAMP factor produced by Streptococcus agalaxiae. To perform the test, a CAMP positive S. agalaxiae strain is streaked down the center of a sheep blood agar plate. C. perfringens is then streaked perpendicular to the S. agalaxiae without touching it. After an aerobic incubation at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours, a narrow head of enhanced hemolysis will be visible at the junction of the two streaks, if C. perfringens is present. This distinctive pattern is a result of the synergistic effect of the alpha toxin and CAMP factor on red blood cell lysis. The CAMP factor reaction was initially described in 1944 by Christie, Atkins, and Munch Peterson. Their research focused on the synergistic lysis of erythrocytes by the beta hemolysin of Staphylococcus aureus and the extracellular CAMP factor of Streptococcus agalaxiae. The reverse CAMP test, as described above, adapts this principle to specifically identify C. perfringens. Poem on perfringens is Mark. On blood agar's crimson field, two streaks converge, a story revealed. Streptococcus and Clostridium meet, an arrowhead of lysis, can't be beat. CAMP factor and alpha toxin combine, a synergistic dance, a deadly sign. Clostridium perfringens makes its mark, identified by this telltale spark.